This chapter will focus on getting familiar with the Dundas dashboard interface. It is strongly recommended to watch this video prior to watching any subsequent tutorials. This will make it easier for you to follow all other tutorials. First, we need to enter the web address of where Dundas Dashboard is hosted. If you're not sure what the link should be, speak with the person who installed Dundas Dashboard. This will bring you to the login screen. Enter your credentials here. If you are the administrator and this is the first time you've hit this page, the login is admin and the password is the password you entered during the install. If you are not an administrator and you are unsure of your login info, talk to the person who administers Dundas Dashboard. We're going to log in as the administrator. Once we log into the Dundas Dashboard application, we will be brought to the main application interface. This is divided into three main areas. The bar that spans the top of the screen is called the toolbar. The area to the left is called the sidebar. Finally, the main section in the middle is called the content pane. On the left side of the toolbar, we'll find some general navigation functions, which looks similar to a web browser. On the right side of the toolbar, we'll find buttons that change according to what's being displayed in the content pane. This will become clearer later on in this tutorial. You can click on the Help button at any time to visit the support.dunnas.com website. This will give you access to support articles, documentation, and links to more of these dashboard video tutorials. You can also click on the My Profile button, which will take you to your profile details. You can find your username, account details, and what kinds of application privileges you have. We'll talk about application privileges in the next video. If you want, you can also change your password here. To return to the home screen, simply click on the home button at any time. Let's look at the sidebar now. At the top of the sidebar, you'll find a drop down menu. This will allow you to view and edit existing projects or to create new ones. This assumes you have permission to do so. Since we've logged in as the administrator, we do have this option. All of the work within Dundas Dashboard is done within the context of a project. This allows you to group information according to the areas within your organization. For example, you may want to give some users access to sales dashboards and then give other users access to operations dashboards. It would then be useful to create a sales project and an operations project. If you look at the bottom of the sidebar, you'll notice that it's organized into different application areas. The Design Explorer area contains a list of all the functional tasks. We won't go over these tasks right now, but it should be brought to your attention for future tutorials. It is also important to note that you can hover over any of the objects in the sidebar to find the context menu. This shows you the many functions that are available for an object. Available options are dependent on what type of object we're looking at. The bookmarks area contains a list of dashboards that may have been bookmarked for easy access. The administration area allows you to manage user accounts, security groups, projects, and application settings. You can alter the width of the sidebar by clicking on the border between the sidebar and the content pane and dragging it to resize it. There's also a pin icon at the top left of the sidebar that will allow you to collapse it. This will increase the viewing space within the content pane and might be particularly useful when viewing and designing dashboards. Each of the application areas are now represented by icons that you can hover over with your mouse to access Bookmarks, Administration, and the Design Explorer. If you want to return the sidebar to its original state, simply click on the pin again. Let's look at the home page in more detail now. There are a few quick links here to get you started. The links are self-explanatory, so we will not go over them. Only relevant links will appear depending on your role. For example, if you only have permissions to design dashboards, then you wouldn't see the first three links. One final note, the links at the bottom will direct you to the many types of support resources we have available for Dundas Dashboard. This concludes our tutorial in getting familiar with the Dundas Dashboard interface.